lovely Louise. Hey. 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 Can you please leave the studio? She looks far too good for oh, this hour in the morning. <laughs> Louise walked in and we both simultaneously went, oh, no, not you again at each other. Can we see each other about five times a year or something? I know. I was, oh, you always get me, don't you? Sorry. No. But you can talk to Zoe now. Take your mind off. Yeah, things. I know. There's a Take woman in it. <laughs> yeah, I know. This is other Zoe. Have you met the other Zoe? Yeah. Lovely hi, other Zoe. Hi. Just to confuse you. I've been reading your book this morning. It's really funny. They sort of left me up in the office with your book. And uh, I forgot I was on. <laughs> I was reading the book and um, was late for the show. It's a lovely book, actually. Yeah. I've read it. It's really sweet. Yeah. Really sweet story. But I love these, um, I love the chapters, chapter okay. titles. Whitney Houston calls. <laughs> did she really call you up when she you... She did. We was in the studio and she just called up to speak to Bibi Wynan and, like, we spoke to her. She was really nice. <laughs> That's so cool. I was a bit nervous, you know. She was a bit of a hero, so I was about, and I must have been about 17. I was a bit like, oh, you know, when you can't get your words out. I sort of passed the phone to Esther and said, quick, you talk to her, you talk to her. <laughs> <laughs> and then thought, why did I do that? I wanted to speak to her. But what do you say to Whitney Houston? <laughs> I, know. I can think of something. <laughs> have, have you spoken to her since? I have. Um, we did a show with her for the Sultan of Brunei a couple of years ago. Wow. It just the two of us, like my Eternal and her, and we were kind of like there for a whole day together. Was so. it one of those kind of private audience things? Yeah, it was through his daughter's birthday. We went over. That's so cool, isn't it? Yeah, it was, it was really cool to go, actually. Was it like a really amazing palace? Like all golden? Oh, well, yeah, we kind of stayed in this small little palace that he said, oh, you guys can stay there if you want. It was like huge. He's got like about 15 of these palaces in one road. Oh, like he's the richest man in the world. Maybe yeah, I'll take up singing. Yeah. And he's got his own fun fair. Like we went to his fun fair. It was just us in the fun fair and his daughter and her friends. It was like think out of this world. My <laughs> so we go over and do our unicycle act for him. I'm sure there's something we can do for him. <laughs> Stop it! Was he the guy, Zoe, of whom your dad said on Richard and Judy the other morning his income uh, for the year is greater than the, the three poorest countries in the world combined GDP? Probably is. It probably is. Sorry, we. Going on okay, I'm okay. okay. not too heavy for me this time in the morning. It's all very busy music. We saw your Noel's house party on Saturday, getting stitched up. You got your. Got I to. know, yeah, I was stitched up. Oliver Smallman is uh, in for it. That's well my manager. Done, That's my know. manager. Well done on you. They tried to get me actually, and I got, my manager rang me and said, "You've been asked by the Natural History Department to make a film about a rare duck." And I was like, "They're going to have to try harder than that." <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> oh, you but I thought you were great. You played along with it really, really well. Yeah, was... I didn't even realise you. I kept thinking this must be a setup, and then you just think, no, it wouldn't happen to me, you know. You kind of carry on going, you think, just be polite, you know, do this, do that, okay, smile. Smile, <laughs> just in case there's a camera hidden behind that picture on the wall. What's this soft and gentle no sweat tour then? I mean, it's a soft and sounds a bit like, you know, bring a flask and a book. <laughs> no, no, what it is, I'm going on tour this Thursday. I'm going all around the UK and I'm soft and gentle sponsoring it, which means that I can put my tickets on a, a low cost thing and, you know, and make the best show I can. So they're actually in there sponsoring me and then do me money. Other <laughs> Something like that. And anyway. you smell very nice. And yeah, and I smell great throughout the whole four weeks. <laughs> do you get? Do you get? <laughs> well, you to, bonus. One thing. One thing I've always found amazing is like you, you know you do quite active dance routines when you're on the stage and sing at the same time. And I always just think about this Madonna and people who dance and say, say, how do you do it? Did you get really breathless? Because yeah. it's just incredible. At do you have moment, to have moments where you go? <laughs> I have, to have long changes. Long no, changes. Uh, this show's kind of been choreographed, so I can um, sing the verses, you know, and then I uh, and then do a funky yeah, do a little routine in the bit. in the middle bit, and then come back and sing the verses. So it's all been choreographed quite cleverly. Excellent. Looking forward to it. I am. I'm nervous, but I'm looking forward to it. It's kind of the first thing, you know, big tour for me. So. Oh, good luck. <laughs> We'll have to go and see it. Where, where are you playing near us? Um, Wembley Arena on just, the... Just a small venue. <laughs> <laughs> on the 15th. Oh, so it's not December. all ballads, though. It's just soft and gentle. You're not just doing the uh, Christmas ballads. I'm not just singing, no. <laughs> <laughs> that was... <laughs> oh, that was silly old me. I thought it was toilet roll anyway, soft and gentle. <laughs> soft and gentle. <laughs> oh. No, I didn't. No. <laughs> it's deodorant for ladies. Well, I don't use it. Well, obviously, because it's for ladies. <laughs> I was going to say obviously because I smell. <laughs> it's deodorant. <laughs> Kevin, I knew there was a straight smell in it. So Sorry, Louise, you didn't buy into any of this when you came in, did you? I'm really sorry. No, you guys, go will, ahead. Will you do shop and more drop them in the next half hour? Of course, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Louise, no. Thank you. What is about? There's something new. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.
Shirley Bassey with the propeller heads. Yes, Fantastic. That's so cool. We like that. It makes me kind of go like this. Raise my hand to the earth. Sorry. Big Beat is in. Uh, more if we can get time for them. Calls on 0500 110 100 in the next half hour with your butt naked stories. Uh, purely because Louise has recorded a song called Naked, which is good enough for us. <laughs> <laughs> they will get yours as well, Louise. You got any good uh, butt naked stories? Save it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just read the papers enough. Did you see the Sunday papers? Oh, okay. oh yeah. Um, do that one. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey. Um, and of course, Louise will be playing shop them or drop them once we've explained it. The latest from Justice Major in the next half hour, plus Tori Amos, professional widow after 8 o'clock. 97 to 99 FM, Radio 1, Newsbeat. They seem to go well together, so we put them together. Lucky I'm man, Verve. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> you don't need to apologise. I was having a cosy chat with a guest. There was a bit of vibing going on here, as I think uh, we young people say. There's a bit of a vibe going down, we, so we just we let it run. Yeah. We young yeah. people. Oh, I missed that last link. <laughs> I've told him to get a big hammer next time. He's just bash him on the head and go, excuse me, we are supposed to be on the air. I'm going to throw balls of paper. Um, can I just say very quickly to Newsbeat, um, uh, Tony's rung in, and I questioned this as well, and no one heard me. Everyone ignore me, but it's OK. Um, uh, during the Newsbeat report on the band football, Baller. It said he could. He got sent off five times in one match, okay? <laughs> and I said, yeah, how can he be sent off five times in one match? And Tony's rung in and said, yeah, how can he be sent off five times in one match? We'd like an explanation, that please. That must be one hell of a foul. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Mind you, they're talking about having sin, sin bins, aren't they, in soccer? They're going to bring them in, maybe. I don't know. Are they? Hey, Ooh. Kevin Greeny's talking about soccer, everybody. I know. Right? Stop Ooh, it, you'll cool. get emails <laughs> complaining. <laughs> it's a cold day in hell. 8.14, ready one breakfast with Louis. Sorry, Louise. That's Louis, quite all right. Louise Nerdy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll play the single in a moment. We're going to play Shop em or Drop em for us. I've been, uh, we've been taking butt naked stories uh, all morning from people who have been butt naked in the open air. <laughs> And I was hoping to get my own Louise butt naked story because I've been browsing the internet. <laughs> 13 internet sites. Yeah. Do you know that? Uh. <laughs> Please stop doing that, Zoe. Sorry, I'm just staring at the brand tab. <laughs> brand tab. <laughs> Honestly, I tell you, it's quite funny that the man who smashes up a pair of xylophone things every day stands there and tells me not to stir the brand up because I'm making a noise. <laughs> He's just broken it. No, no, Should we fine. get on with the game? Should we get on with the game? Okay. Sorry. Yeah, sorry, Louise. I'm so just sorry. really, really sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's get on with it. Okay, go on. Shake the brand on Louise. Pick out a number, okay. please. Okay. 45. 45. When was the last time you were butt naked in the open air? <laughs> oh, no, that's not a question, really, is no, it? No, it really is. It really is. Okay, when was the last time I was butt naked in, in open air? In the open air, yeah. Outdoors. Um, the last time I was butt naked, but it wasn't quite open air. It was in a Winnie Bago. It was on my last video shoot. There you go. You know when you're doing them changes? Oh, okay, that'll do. Oh, was that really weak? <laughs> But she not answered the question. question. Good on her. Yeah. Nice yeah. I'm not answering that question. Okay, uh, next one. Pick us another one then. Okay. 16. And what careers advice were you given at school? Um, always be professional. <laughs> <laughs> always act like you're extremely interested in the subject that you're following. Like this show. <laughs> and always, <laughs> and um, always smile. <laughs> that was what it. A smile. <laughs> okay. Follow it. That's great advice. Oh, go on, there we go. Ne it's next such one. A fake smile. You look like a vampire. <laughs> okay, um, 12. Do you have any phobias? Um, snakes. No. Is, it, is it serious? I mean, like. Yeah, I mean, spiders, tarantulas, anything. If I saw a snake, I would faint there and then on the spot. I would just, I couldn't walk. Well, it's funny you should say that, Louise. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh thanks. It makes me put my feet on the chair. You know when you can't put your feet on the floor because you think there might be one under your desk in the radio <laughs> one studio in London at this temperature? <laughs> <laughs> okay, next question. Okay. 11. That gong, you gong. <laughs> it's well, the shop drop them. Or drop drop em. Em. Oh, Go on, drop them. <laughs> yeah, okay, well, on. for you, Zoe. Just for me. <laughs> no, not for no, me. No, I can't drop them. Don't mind those cameras. None of them have filming. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't drop them. 
Who are you going to shop? Who are you going to shop Um, Okay, let me think. Uh, Well, I used to go to school with Martine McClutchen, who, as you all know, is Tiffany. Lovely Tiffany. A very good friend of mine. She's lovely. Um, We get on very well. But? But (laughs) when we was younger, she must have been about 11, so she's allowed to do this. Um, In all the school plays, she used to be Gloria Estefan and sing one, two, three, four (laughs) with male dancers. (laughs) (laughs) She was really good at it. It must have been difficult to work that into Hamlet, mustn't it? (laughs) (laughs) No, whatever school play like we did, that she'd be there singing Gloria Estefan. Whether it be anything for you or one, two, three, yeah. four, you know. One, that's two. <laughs> one, so, uh, two, but she was good. Four. She was always the one at school that, you know, everybody wanted to sing and dance like. She's very showbiz. There she is, the all singing and all dancing Marty McCutcheon. Thank you. Please. I guess we play the single then, yeah? That would be good. Why did you oh, choose this? this? And what, this song? Yeah, why did you choose this? I like the average white band. Is the correct answer. <laughs> <laughs> So Louise, let's go around again for the Soft and Gentle No Sweat Tour. Starts November 20th, which is uh, this Thursday. Sheffield City Hall concludes uh, Civic Hall. Well, it's a long one. December 18th, Wolverhampton Civic Hall. Louise Nerdy. Thank Barry's you so very cross because so yeah, he managed to take a picture of um, him and <laughs> Louise um, with a mic first, first one with a microphone in front of her face, and then the next one didn't come out. Are you uh, sulking no now? film in the Polaroid. Can you, can you believe that? And no one will ever believe. That you had your fo- no you one. had your your nog right between <laughs> sorry your head oh no it's getting worse uh, Zoe help us with a trial would you okay Dave Pierce host drive time good clean fun uh, from four o'clock this afternoon he'll be running through the top ten of Radio One's most wanted um, the Choose Life PF project are at number one at the moment if you want to call oh three four five one ten one hundred um, and you could change those results also you can win tickets to Shola Armour in Paris um, yes. That's Dave Pierce from 4 o'clock this afternoon.